There are few places in the world with the astronomical quality of the Canary Island sky. For this reason, the observatories of the Canary Islands are clearly the ideal location for the European Solar Telescope, EST. EST will be the largest scientific facility for the observation of the Sun in Europe so far. Projects like this one can only be done when we work together at a global scale. The projects involve the entire European scientific community dedicated to the study of the Sun. There are 21 partners from 15 European countries supporting this initiative. Nobody wants to stay out of this unique adventure that will allow us to see the Sun with a level of details that has never been achieved before. The EST is a dream for any solar physicist. A few years ago it would have been impossible to imagine a telescope with the dimensional technology of the EST. It will be nearly four times larger than the telescopes currently operating in Europe, and the telescope will be located in a building 38 meters high. It will be on a platform with 28 meters in diameter, covered with a retractable dome. Surprisingly, the heat generated by the sun is one of the major enemies of the telescope. Heat generates turbulence, and that affects the optical quality of the telescope. At a higher altitude, more laminar is the airflow, and that will improve the thermal behavior of the telescope as it will operate in an open configuration with a retractable dome. Moreover, passive and active thermal control system will take under control all the thermal aspects of the European Solar Telescope. In the east, the mirrors will be key to its success. A total of 14 mirrors will guide and correct the light coming from the sun to the instruments that will analyze it in detail. The primary mirror will have an area of more than 4 meters in diameter, being one of the biggest mirrors manufactured until now for solar observations. This mirror will also be mounted on a network of actuators that will correct the deformations of its surface. These deformations can be caused by the wind, changes in temperature, or even the weight of the mirror itself. The light reflected on the primary mirror will converge at the primary focus, where a heat stop will be located to avoid overheating of the secondary mirror and the spider. The heat stop will select the desired field view and will reflect away 99% of the light. At the same time, a cooling system consisting of an air circuit and a coolant bulk will cool down the system. The secondary mirror is responsible for collecting the light reflected by the primary. Uh, it will be placed on a mobile structure or hexapod that will allow to make second correction on the solar image, uh, rectifying the optical aberrations and guaranteeing the maximum optical quality of the telescope. Uh, it will also have a cooling system to avoid uh, local turbulence uh, that could affect the quality of the image. The secondary mirror will transfer the light into a set of optical elements which conduct the light along the EST tower. They will rotate when the telescope moves following the sun during observation and they are one of the most important parts of the EST, its, its adaptive optic system. One of the problems to astronomical observation done with telescopes from the Earth comes from our own atmosphere that distorts the light blurring the final image. To solve this, we use adaptive optics techniques. In the case of the EST, four deformable mirrors will correct in real time any distortion of the light caused by the atmospheric turbulence at different heights that produce an image almost as clear and detailed as if the telescope were in space. So once the light reaches the Codet focus, it will be distributed to the different instruments of the telescope that will be spread over two floors. The EST instrumentation will allow the study of the sun at different wavelengths simultaneously. And at the same time, it will analyze the polarized light with the highest precision. To measure the degree of polarization, we will require optical elements like uh, liquid crystals of large format and highest accuracy. And thanks to the data we will obtain, we will be able to study the magnetic fields and its dynamics at different altitudes in the solar atmosphere. And this is something which is really fundamental for the understanding of the Sun. Many people wonder why we want to build such a big telescope. And the answer is very simple. 
Solar physics has very interesting challenges for the future that demand large telescopes and, of course, novel instrumentation. The fundamental physical processes that we want to understand in the Sun, they all happen at very, very small scales. And of course, we want to see them. A larger telescope allows us to see smaller details. With the EST, we can not only see details of the surface of the Sun of a few kilometers, but we can also analyze the most imperceptible trace of magnetic fields in the polarization of light. It is a real technological challenge, but also a unique opportunity for European industry. The construction of the EST will allow us to acquire a high level of expertise in the development of technologies, with possible applications in areas well beyond astronomy. This is EST. The EST is not a dream, it is a reality. The Sun is our closest star and therefore our best laboratory to understand the universe. Thanks to EST, we can solve mysteries about our universe that we have not formulated yet.